Good morning. It's so good to be with you this morning as we uh, come together and talk about healing and uh, the healing bread. That's why I've called it. It is the children's bread. And it is, um, we daily are allowed to eat of this bread that's been uh, purchased for us through the blood of Jesus and the body that was broken for you and I. So I pray that this morning you'll partake of the healing power of God this morning. Um, as I was praying about what the Holy Spirit would like me to speak about today and share with you, He wanted me to talk to you about understanding where, who has the authority. And uh, I, I want to kind of relate some of this to a, just a situation that happened a couple days ago. And um, because it's got to be now, it's got to be now faith is the substance. So it needs to be this faith in the name of Jesus and the authority that is in that name. You must activate it. It must be present. It must be present today. It must be now. It must be active for you today. Not just line, not just pages, ink on pages, but actually a reality in your life. And so in uh, Mark 7, 26, the story is told about the woman, and that is where I, uh, you know, the, the passage that I use for this, this program. And um, this is where the, Syrop, uh, the Greek woman, Syrophoenician woman, had a daughter that was possessed, a young daughter possessed with the devil. And she came to Jesus and she sought him uh, to heal her daughter. Now, they were not really um, lined up to be receiving those miracles because Jesus had not gone to the cross yet and he had been sent to Israel, which is, is what he said. But she understood that he had the authority, that he had the power to, uh, to heal her daughter. And so she was not moved by anything she, he said. She wanted more than anything, her daughter to be set free from that unclean spirit. Amen. And I know, and I believe you know, that Jesus himself has the authority in his own name to set you free, to set your daughter free, to set your son free, to set that situation that doesn't seem that it can change. He, God himself, through the name of Jesus, has given us the authority and the power to call on the name of Jesus and be whole. Now, in, um, in Luke chapter 7, we find the story here of the centurion. Now, the centurion was a Roman centurion. He was a man of authority. And he understood the protocol of authority. And he, when he came to Jesus, he said, you don't even have to come to my house. You can just speak the word, and I understand that you can send your servants, and they will make sure that my daughter is healed. Amen? And so, um, I'm sorry, that was his servant. His servant was vexed with the devil. So he said, you don't even have to come to my house. Just speak the word. And my servant will be healed. Amen. And Jesus responded to that centurion. He said, I have not found so great a faith in all of Israel. He understood this man and also the Syrophoenician woman understood that Jesus had the authority to heal his, for her, her, um, her daughter that was vexed with a devil and then the centurion, his servant, it wasn't even a member of his family. It was a servant of his that he loved. You know, Jesus understands those people that you love. He knows that you can, he understands that sphere of influence. Amen. And it says um, in James, in James now, it talks about in, in the book of James, that you, there is a prayer of faith. If you pray in the name of Jesus, your servant, you know, there will be healing. And so in James, we find that they understood that if you laid hands on the sick, because this is, this is here in James, um, 
let me find it here, chapter, uh, chapter 5, it says in verse 13, Is there any sick among you? Let him call for the elder of the church, and let them pray over him, anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord, and the prayer of faith shall save the sick, and the Lord shall raise him up, and if he's committed any sins, they shall be forgiven him. And so this prayer of faith that can be prayed by an elder for a person is in the name of Jesus, we will lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. Now, this morning, uh, there's a, a woman that, that uh, 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 a brother that goes to, the, to our church and his mother is in the hospital. And so we sent the word of healing, amen, to minister the healing power of a restoration of her body in the name of Jesus. We understand that we have the right, because we love the Lord, to ask him to send the word of healing, to send healing to this situation, amen? And we have expectation that it's going to happen, amen? We are people under authority, and we can send, amen, in the name of Jesus, take the name because we believe on his name, and see, the, that name carries much weight. He is the captain of angels' armies, and so when we release the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, angels go on account of the word to bring about the expected end amen we send the word of healing so here in this situation in james chapter 5 it says if there's any afflicted let them pray any mary let them sing psalms amen is any sick among you let them call for the elders of the church and let them pray over him anointing him with oil in the name of the lord and here the key is the prayer of faith, amen, shall save the sick. See, our prayer is in the name of Jesus, and our faith is not in our ability, but in the anointing that comes in the name of Jesus. Amen? Amen. And so, I want to tell you, <coughs> um, a couple days ago, we were in North Carolina, had a beautiful wedding for my daughter. I came home that night. And it was, I don't know, 11 or 12 o'clock at night. And we'd had a wonderful day. And all of a sudden, I started to cough. And and I just, you know, I'm coughing here, coughing there. And I don't know why. I Maybe I was just tired. I just didn't think about, you know, rebuking that cough. So my husband, uh, after I was coughing for a little bit, my husband just leaned over and he said, In the name of Jesus, I take authority over that cough. And I tell you to go. In the name of Jesus. Amen. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't rebuke the, that cough. I just was maybe just tired. Just wasn't thinking. Whatever. But you know what? As soon as he prayed. And that, that cough left me. And I stopped coughing. Amen. See he has authority over me. As my as my husband. And the head over me as, as his as wife. He un understands authority. He understands he has authority over my body because we are one. And he was annoyed. You know, he wanted to go to sleep too. He just, in the name of Jesus, took authority over that that cough that was on that was coming at me just to uh, wear me out, and it immediately left. Amen. That see, we want to. Sometimes we have authority. Now I had authority to to curse it, to set it off of me. But sometimes you don't even you don't even walk in your authority that you know. You just let this symptom or you let this situation keep coming at you, and you don't take your authority. And so I want to encourage you today that the Bible says that you humble yourself under the mighty hand of God and you resist the devil and he will flee amen it really works that easily and so my like i said my husband he just he just in the name of jesus i take authority over that 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 cough i tell you to get off her and go you know what it left that immediate it left 
Amen. It left. It found some other place to light on. Amen. And and see that the devil looks for opportunities. Sometimes you're tired. Sometimes a situation happens. He is watching to get an opportunity to come in and put something on you, or you know, to 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 uh, you know to bring something back from the past or whatever. But you know what? When you wake up, Amen. Like I was like, wait a minute. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, uh, thank you, Lord, that that Kevin has that authority, and I had that authority. But he prayed for me. He's an elder. Amen. He took authority over that devil <clears throat> that was coming at me that day, that night. Amen? You know what? Sometimes we know it. We know it's real. We know we have, it, we have the ability. We know we have it. Just like, you know, there's, there's, a, there's coffee downstairs. I know it's down there, but do I go down there and get the coffee and pour it and drink it? No. Okay? I have it. I know it's down there. You can have things in your spiritual house, in your spiritual storehouse that you don't access, that you don't take advantage of. I want to encourage you today. You have been given authority to trample on snakes because there's going to be things that are going to come at you and snakes and scorpions and over all the powers of the enemy in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. He has given you the power. Authority needs power. He has given you the power to tread. He's delegated it to you. It's in your hand today. He's given it to you. You have to resist. Stop whining and stop asking for other people to do it. You know, maybe somebody around you will say, wait a minute. In the name of Jesus, I take authority over that situation. Amen. Hallelujah. And, um, but you have been given authority, power to tread upon snakes and scorpions and over all the powers of the enemy in Jesus name. Amen. We are people under the authority. We live in, uh, in the kingdom of God whose ruler is King Jesus. We don't live in the world system. We live now in the kingdom of God. We are citizens of heaven and we have rights and privileges because we are citizens. Amen. So I hope this encouraged you today. Thank you for being with me. I'm so glad to be back in Florida. We had a wonderful trip and I uh, pray that you're doing well and your family. And I just ask that this morning that Father, we just thank you that we would again revive our confidence in your name, Jesus. And we thank you that you have given us the right, because we love you, to use the name. That at the name of Jesus, every knee will bow, every tongue will confess that you are Lord over our lives. Thank you for being with me. God bless you. And we'll be back with you tomorrow night. Join us if you're nearby. We worship and just spend time ministering to the Lord on Wednesday nights. Haven't stopped having Wednesday nights in years. So uh, uh, since for 20 something years, join us, join us, minister with us and to the Lord and receive a refreshing. Amen. We all need to be refreshed and revived. Thank you for being with me. God bless you. And I will see you soon.